I saw something posted on social media talking about there's all these incentives to get people to 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 work again. You know, some of these, especially like in the service industry and stuff like that. Um, but there was something saying like, hey, that's a reminder how we need to treat our employees that are showing up like yeah showing that same gratitude or like that the guy who is leaving it's like hey we'll bump up your pay give you the store all these other things that maybe he wouldn't have been looking for another job if they would have like gradually got him there yeah yeah dude, man you're hitting the nail on the head and i think so a simple thing about people and human behavior is people typically are always going to try to do what benefits them in almost every situation and at first it's something i kind of used to take personal but now it, I don't at all because I just realized it's just survival of the fittest. Like people have families, people have, you know, kids and different things they have to take care of. They're, they're going to do what's best for them. So people want to be in a position where, like, for example, there's some jobs, no matter how you work, you're never incentivized to do better. Mm -hmm. And that's where you see, like, for the best case scenario, or excuse me, the best example of this, obviously everyone here has probably been to the DPS. Everyone knows it's a joke of how bad DPS workers are. They're horrible. Like if y'all there was a Disney cartoon about it that like there was an animal the sloth. The sloth was yeah. it. And everyone thought it was so damn funny because it's true. Now, are DPS people just bad people? No. Yeah. Are they like less smart or just late? No. They have no incentive to perform better. Or like customer service, just a smile or anything. Yeah, there's not really. It's just there's nothing. It's they, every day. Yeah. They make their whatever they make, no matter if they're rude, nice, doesn't matter. Sure, they can probably be pretty nice for a week, and then they just, uh, well, everyone's like this. I don't really care. And it becomes a culture. So the problem that most companies do is they don't incentivize the right behaviors, right? So if, for example, and it doesn't matter, and you go, well, Grant, well, what about people that aren't in sales? Like, how can I incentivize those? Well, it's, it's pretty simple. You got to have KPIs and metrics for everything. KPI is a key performance indicator, which means as a company or a team or a coach, you have to be able to measure every single position in your company or teams on how well that they are performing. And this is not always because some people have back end operations and they maybe don't have a handle or control in it. But for example, our project managers that manage all our projects, they also, yes, they have a base and a salary, but if I only had that, they would be like pushing rocks to get things done. So instead, we are now incentivizing them for every install that they get in, they actually get paid for, they get a bonus for, for each one. And if they hit certain metrics and do certain ones in a, in a certain amount of time during a month, they get bonus. So now when they're communicating with our install teams, they're not like, hey, got to install, this one's good. Can y'all look into like what's available? It just doesn't matter. They're like, hey, we got this customer. He needs to get installed. We just talked to him. He's super excited. Can we squeeze this in this week? Can we make this happen this week? And I wish I could tell you, and, and they're amazing people, but they're going to do that because they make more money that way. They're not in sales. So that's a horrible excuse. You have to incentivize the right behaviors. And you got to pay people what their worth is. You got to make sure that people are getting paid for their value. Because what happens is they're happier. People are more happy when they're growing and when they're moving towards something. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if you're a socialist or communist or anything. People are happy when they're developing and they're growing and they're going through different challenges and developing as a person. And so you got to have target. It's human nature. And so you got to find a way to incorporate that in every different things. And the same thing like you're talking about, you know, they should have incentivized them to be there in the first place. The same thing goes if, and, and, and maybe I may get heat for this and maybe I'm not, and quite frankly, I don't care. If you can, if the government continues to incentivize people to not work and they can make the same or almost as much money not working, what will they not do? Yeah, I have a friend. He was he was making more money at home, but he was like, I'm bored out of my mind. Like, what am I going to do? Like, I want to go back to work. I, I feel it. And yeah. God bless him. But a lot of people aren't like that. Right. And so they go make Man, they were making, and it's interesting, I had some friends that went out to New Mexico, and it was the first week that COVID opened, this was a while back, and they're eating at these restaurants, and I'm like, man, why is everyone so rude? <laughs> and, and New Mexico people are super nice, and what they found out through the waiter is that all of the waiters were making more money being off of work than they were actually working. So they were pissed off. They were rude to customers. They were kind of passive aggressive and they weren't happy. They weren't bad people. They were just doing natural human instincts to do what benefits them. 
And so, like, I don't want to get too political, but, like, Governor Abbott actually is trying to block continuing extra pay for people out. Guys, people do what benefits them. And you thought all of COVID opening up, the unemployment rate was going to drop down. I think it was at 5.9%. It actually, in Q1, bumped up to 6.1%, even though everyone was so open. And it's because, and you could go, Grant, we need to float a little more. And you might be right, but it's because people are incentivizing them to not work. I promise you, people, Americans are awesome people. They are hardworking go-getters that are always going to make something happen. That's why America's consistently been the best country in the world, the best economic uh, powerhouse in the world. But people are people, and people are going to do what incentivize them. So we need to incentivize our people, incentivize our country, incentivize our teams and countries to make sure that them working hard and them being successful is not only going to be noticed, but it's going to be rewarded. And the sooner we start doing that, the best example that you're going to get good results and people are going to perform better. Companies are going to be better. Yeah. And Mitt Group, y'all were awarded one of the best places to work. Absolutely. And that's because y'all, you take that philosophy. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and our people voted on that. And it's like, if they say horrible things, I won't even know. You know, if they say great things, I I still don't even know what they said. I just know we got on it. You know what I mean? (laughs) So like everybody else really hated their job. And you guys, they like it. I guess it worked. But that's what I'm saying is like people want an opportunity to make their lives better and give their kids and family a better situation. So, yeah, absolutely. So it's important. (laughs) It works.